Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out. And welcome back to a, another vlog. And as you can see, we're on a little bit of a road trip because we're heading out to the countryside, which I'm so excited for. We're going for a little stay at the farmhouse. Chris kindly booked this for me for my birthday. So he'd actually told me in New York, but I don't think I am. Um, mention it in the New York vlog so hopefully you're all caught up on them by now so yeah we're gonna do a little stay um we've got a few plans while we're there just to kind of like chill out and I actually have oh I've got, I've got a surprise for you I forgot to tell you whilst we're there so yeah are you gonna tell me now or? yeah so we I've booked on Monday morning for us to have a couple's massage together in the spa oh nice you look so unenthusiastic. You're like, oh, oh no. Just pay attention to that. That's amazing. Yeah. Thanks, babe. It's at half. No, it's at ten in the morning, so we can get yeah. up, go for a swim in the morning, and then go for a massage. Uh, so they've actually got a lovely spa there. They do have these new. They're like lazy pools, and I did it last time when we went with the Cordley girls. But I tried to book it, and they're all booked out. Um, but I have said to them like, if there is any cancellations, let me know. But yeah, we're just driving through now. It's such a cute little area around here before you get into the farmhouse. It's in Oxfordshire. Chip, Chipping Norton, right? Yeah. Um, but the trees are all pretty and autumnal. We are just saying, whenever we see all the trees like this now, it just reminds us of Central Park. So yeah, we're going to have a nice little stay at the farmhouse. Obviously, I can't film um, a lot of it when you're out and about, but I'll show you obviously where we're staying and what we're getting up to. I thought it'd be a cute way to start. So we've just checked into our little piglet. We've just been having some drinks, a little bite of lunch, and we've finally checked in. It's gone quite dark now, and it's really cute. It's just like a cozy little hub. This is actually Chris's first time staying at the farmhouse. It's a nice little cozy feel. We've actually got the football on, obviously. It's Sunday, and I'm with a boy. What else much should we expect? But it is just a nice little cozy vibe. We've got the little bathroom over here. I'm going to get in one of these robes because we're going to chill out for a bit. And then the loo. We've got all the Soho skin range. And then the massive shower with all the cow shed. I love how many shower gels there possibly are to choose from. And the huge bed to cozy up in tonight. Okay, this camera is not picking it up well because the lighting isn't great, but I've just got this, it's like a long black dress from Pretty Lavish that I've recently had in. I was going to wear this in New York, but it didn't come in time, sadly. It's quite long, which is great, and then I'm just wearing it with my flat boots because it's quite casual here, and you don't want to walk on the cobbles and heels, and then it's got like a nice little open back, and then I'm just going to put the cape over the top, and let me go in the other mirror so you can probably see. I have just quickly slicked my hair back because my hair has been in a hat all day and no one wants to see that. And it's pretty much the same makeup, just give it a little bit of a touch up, some lip gloss, perfume by the way. This is my new favourite night perfume and Chris loves this and normally he never comments on my perfume unless it's the YSL one which he loves but this is the Jimmy Choo and it's really nice. Do you like this one? <laughs> he has been napping for like the past hour and all of a sudden got his second wave of energy. And he's basically roping me in to go watch the football again. I've watched two games today, and it's meant to be my birthday trip. But, but we're going to watch... It's culture, yeah, it's World only because it's World cultural. Cup. We're going to go watch a bit of the game, and then we're going to go for dinner. Hopefully we can get into the pen yet, because I made a book in, but it doesn't seem to have gone through. I don't know what happened. But it's a lovely kind of like sushi, rabat restaurant here. So hopefully we can get in there and have a bite to eat. <laughs> I didn't actually vlog at dinner last night. We went to the Pena and it was so good, but again, we ate too much. We always seem to over order. Got up this morning, went to the gym, and we had a lovely massage, and then we went for a swim. So we've had such a nice start to the day. But I'm just having a bit of a no makeup day today. I'm breaking out a little bit. So I've just got my hat, scarf, comfy set on underneath from Arkit, these cashmere trousers and top, Uggs, and then my Zara coat, and just having a nice comfy day. So we're gonna go sit. Have just like a bite to eat and chill out before we leave later. Hi guys, 
guys, this vlog has literally been everywhere, but I'm picking it people in the background i'm picking it back up it's actually the day later because yesterday me and chris checked out the farmhouse we were just chilling catching up on work and then we had to deal with stuff with the house afterwards which ended up being really late and it was just boring stuff but today i'm at vista i've got up early and i've come to meet my friend amy i haven't seen her in ages and she's actually currently pregnant so last time we came here she was pregnant with her first baby now she's pregnant with the second so it's like our little annual tradition that we come to vista and have a little girly shopping date so I thought I'd bring you along with me because like I said the farmhouse was very here and there because um, it's really struggled to kind of vlog there obviously you're not allowed to be um, filming and stuff so I thought today would be a better day to pick up the vlog so they've actually opened a Chaconis now sorry my camera keeps going in and out so this is really new so we're going to stop here for lunch first because I am starving I'm going to meet Amy here and then do shopping after can you go for it it looks good Oh no, I'm stuck! <laughs> how long it's been literally nine months <laughs> what do you think yeah so we're just doing a little shopping we ate so much at lunch i feel sick and when do i ever learn that i always over order but we just went into a few shops then there wasn't really a much but we're gonna have a little browse in the white company there's dior we're looking burberry Let's see what we can find because i feel like we've got like a good hour right yeah so hopefully yeah, yeah, yeah. we can have a bit of a successful shopping trip <laughs> so we're just in the Charlotte Tilbury they've actually got really good discounts here I, I swear I just saw a set over there which is the yeah the magic icon set which is meant to be 80 and here it's 64 so that is actually a really good saving on some of the gifts so if you're looking at stocking up come here ladies Amy is stocking up on bronzer <laughs> just popped into Claret we saw these really nice like Sheerlin trainers I feel like they do have similar on Farfetch but they're more like a see-through material which I feel like aren't practical whereas these are very cool very on they're very you Ames I really like them really good price as well so I've officially done no shopping for me no shopping for my family got no Christmas presents but I've gone wild at the Soho home they had 25% off the village prices as well um, which was just a no-brainer because I've never known Soho Home to do such a good discount so I got a gorgeous lamp for the new house I feel like this is just a sign you're getting old when you just don't shop for yourself anymore and instead you just shop for house stuff so I've got a lamp a candle a chopping board because that's basically what was on Chris's Christmas list he wants a chopping board to cook so I got a lovely one and it was all 25% off so I'll show you when I get back but I've actually got an event tonight so I need to quickly turn myself around on the train I've got like my glitzy Arquette trousers and stuff I'm just quickly trying to find Amy now because bless her she was like rushing around the other shops well I was just getting hooked up on home stuff because they had lovely like coffee tables console tables but as you can see I've already got loads of bags and I'm already gonna go to a white company and get towels don't know how I'm gonna balance it probably gonna be balancing it all on my head at this point on the train but when it comes to home stuff if I get a discount why not ladies because home stuff is expensive really not a flattering angle my camera battery has died on me twice and my memory card decided to just stop working so that is great start to the day pretty much sums up my life right now but I'm staying positive guys because I need all the positive vibes to come our way with this house move coming up that we can pray that we have those keys in our hand before Christmas because at the minute it's a massive stress and like our whole life is being on put on pause because of it even like our engagement party because the venue we want is near to our home and makes sense for like all of our family to get there so we can't currently confirm stuff for the engagement party because of that 
and our whole life is being put on hold because of our house situation because of the chain it's not us and it's not the people buying the house from it's the other end of the chain which i know a lot of people have told us can be the situation when it comes to buying a house so having your like life in the hands of someone else is very very frustrating especially for someone like me who is an absolute control freak so yeah that's where my life is at currently guys but I am going to show you what I got from Vista, like I said, because I did get some lovely stuff and it is getting me really excited for the home. I've been ordering a lot of home stuff online the past week. I've been sorting out paint colours, wallpapers, because we're not actually going to wallpaper the main rooms. We're going to wallpaper the bathrooms, but I don't think I'm going to do that straight away. That'll be something we definitely look at in the new year. But it's just stressful, like even, you know, ordering like Sky, Wi-Fi, things like that just to be fitted beforehand so i am hoping and praying and keeping a very positive and optimistic mind that things move forward asap because our completion date is meant to be very 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 soon and we are still on the brink so yeah i need to look i even start to pack up this house but i want to start to feel festive and i really am not feeling festive this year and i feel like what a great way to start vlogmas or vlogging here in december but i'm being real guys life is just stressful for me right now so the thought of christmas hasn't really crossed my head i haven't really got any christmas presents so that's definitely going to be a last minute thing but i do have gift guides for you guys so these are the gifts that i would be buying i have like in my head what i'm going to be getting if that makes sense but just haven't followed through with that yet but a lot of our family this year we're doing like secret santa which just is a whole lot easier and chris has been quite clear of what he wants for christmas so that'll be easy don't worry i feel like when i do my makeup on the vlog and you can see it down my neck unblended like that i'd be watching the vlog like girl you need to blend your makeup but don't worry i do do it i normally come back to it afterwards um and blend it down so let's just blend it a little bit so it doesn't look crazy but i cannot recommend this foundation enough it is covering all my imperfections right now whilst still not being like too thick and cakey it's the hourglass one i really swear by this foundation it's so good i'm still loving the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin concealer it is so good and radiance is definitely what i'm lacking today so i'm hoping it's going to give me some of that but on the subject of vlogmas i have had a few of you message me saying are you doing vlogmas this year and i feel like last year i did it i did do vlogmas but i didn't do it every single day i did it like every few days and it was a lot and the fact that i am one team member down at the minute my assistant isn't fully back at work um i'm having to juggle everything so with that and with the house move i couldn't commit to like fully doing vlogmas this year so I will do it next year. I vouched for myself. I'm actually really going to do it next year because I love vlogging and I love you guys just seeing like, you know, the reality of life and just a bit more unfiltered than Instagram. And I guess you get to see me at home and everything that I get up to and just being human. So I really do love vlogging and connecting with you guys through the vlogs. So definitely next year I will look at doing Vlogmas. That goes without saying, I am definitely going to be vlogging over December. I'm just not going to be vlogging every single day. I'll be vlogging what I'm getting up to. Obviously, we've got hopefully the house move coming up. So that's going to be a lot of vlogging around that and which will be so exciting. Like the thought of putting up our new house here and showing you guys and sharing with you finally after how long I've been talking about it will be so nice. And it's something that I've always dreamt of because I am super proud of this house we're buying and all the hard work we've put like to getting into this house so hopefully these vlogs will come guys and i am going to be vlogging as much as i can over december so i usually put out two videos a week so i'm going to try stick to that if i can do more bonus but i'm not going to stress myself out because i've got too much going on behind the scenes but i'm still going to be here with you guys i'm not going anywhere this december i am going to be showing you what i'm getting up to so i'm going to quickly finish off this makeup because i feel like i am rambling on and it's taken me a lot longer so i've also got a car coming this morning very shortly so i need to get myself together and then i'll reconvene okay i have got myself together i just quickly dice and air up my hair because it's actually got long again obviously not long as in 
normal hair long it's long for me having short hair so i've booked in for the hairdressers next week and get my roots sorted before christmas and our engagement party and i've also got my ring back because on the last vlog you would have seen i took this to the jewelers where it was made to get refixed because now it fits perfectly what what are you staring at he does this and it's because we've got some of the Christmas lights up and he can see it through the reflection of the... Should we put your winter jumper on? Yes, that'd be nice. Keep you warm. Do you love me? I love you. Yes. Okay. I thought I would actually show you what I got from Bista Village. So you cannot go with Bista Village and not go the white company. And... I basically just got, it's kind of boring stuff, you guys probably don't even want to see it, but if you are interested in home stuff, I love this kind of thing. I got the hand towels, which are the nice white fluffy ones. These were reduced, they were all reduced, and they had a percent off, I think, for Black Friday. And I feel like, who goes to Vista Village and comes back with towels? Me. Because all of these little things add up, guys, especially in the new house, we've got it's four bedrooms and three of them are guest bedrooms. So, and we also have the bathroom. So I've got to like fill for when we have the guests over for Christmas, which we're hoping we'll be in by. And obviously everyone needs towels. So I had to get loads of towels. And I also got the big bath sheets, which were actually reduced to 18 pound, which is really good for the white company. Cause when I was in the store, I was like, wait, is this going to be worth it? And me like traipsing it back over London, but it is because it's £18 and I swear online it's like £45. So that was a really good saving. So I got a couple of the big bath sheets and you just can't go wrong with White Company. It's so cuddly and soft. And White Company classics. I also got the Peony hand wash and also the hand and body cream. I actually already unpackaged it because with these candles, I'm obsessed with them. I have them every year in the winter. Even when you unpackage it, this smells out the room, even when it's not burning. So I just wanted to have it on the coffee table for now, but I actually also did do a white company order with the Black Friday discount. I don't know if it's still live, but it was 20% off. And on the website, they didn't have the full version, which is this one. They had the medium size. So I have ordered that and it's actually come along with some lights. So I'll show you them. And then Soho Home was so good. It had an extra... So they do um, village prices of the Soho Home stuff, so it is already discounted, most of the stuff. And then they had an extra 25% off, which was music to my ears. So I got this lovely chopping board, and you might be like, how is the chopping board lovely? But to me, this is what I get excited about now, guys. I love a good reclaimed wood, and it's got the nice details here, around the edge. And I don't like, it sounds really weird, I don't like when it's like perfect. I like when it's like this, a little bit distorted. Chris has wanted a chopping board for Christmas, so this is one of his Christmas presents. And I also got this lovely candle from Soho Home. And these are all actually unique, so you have to kind of like get the boxes and open them all up to see which one you want. Because of the marble and the stone, they all turn out different. So I went with this one, and it smells delicious. It's got the nice little lid. So once you actually burn the candle, which I think this is the Tonka one. Yeah, this is the Tonka and Florum. It smells delicious. So once I actually burn this through, I'm just then going to use it as like a little pen pot or whatever else it can be used for. So these are obviously gorgeous marble. Big reveal. This is what I had to lodge across London. So I got this obviously at Vista. I had to get the train home. And bear in mind, I was in my glitzy trousers on the train because I was going to an event after, which I didn't manage to vlog. So I was just rushing then. When I got there, I was late and I didn't want to be like getting the camera out. So I had a lovely dinner with Moroccan oil and I was wearing these like Arquette glitzy trousers on the train in heels and I had to stand the whole way whilst holding this lamp and all of the rest of my shopping. Okay, maybe this is a little bit better, but you can see all of my washing in the back. Let me go, guys. Just ignore all of the rubbish in the back. But this is what I wanted to show you, which was the lamp. So this is the lamp shade, which is this kind of like lovely brown linen color, if it's picking it up on the camera. And then how beautiful is this lamp? Now, I've actually eyed this up on Soho Home website. Obviously not like this, this is how it's gonna look. As you can see, if I hold it up, this is so hard to balance, as so. So it's gonna look like this. I'm just gonna insert a picture 
from the website as well so you can probably see it but it is just stunning the base of this i love the darker wood mixed with the gold this is just going to be such a lovely statement lamp and i think i'm going to put it in our living room anyway that's my home haul i'm going to get myself together now because even though it is looking dark it is actually the morning and my car is about to come because i'm going to go off somewhere exciting today and i will catch you up in the car while i was just about to run out the door and the postman came and delivered this stunning package from dior i mean the bag alone is just beautiful obviously i got too excited i've already opened it guys but they actually have dior in harrods now and they're doing a cafe and they have sent me some of the biscuits from there I mean, this is the most bougie biscuit I think I've ever had in my life, but it is a Dior inspired biscuit. How brilliant. This is so cool. So I might have one of these with a coffee when I get back later. I love the tin as well. Very bougie. And then alongside it, they've sent some of their lipsticks, of course. Like I said, I have unpackaged it. I got too excited. These are actually really good, gorgeous. Sorry, I couldn't get my words out then. Red shades. So this is it, and it's the most stunning red. I actually might wear it today because I'm wearing all black, and I feel like it always looks good. So it has the CD engraved, as you can see, in the lipstick if it's picking it up on camera, which is just a beautiful little touch. So if you're looking for a good red lipstick, then highly recommend this one. I remember when I did wear it recently for an event, and a lot of you were asking on Instagram, and this is the one I've been wearing, ladies, so highly recommend it. Some beautiful flowers from my favourite local florist, and this is actually from my friend Millie, um, because obviously she told me she was sending them, which is so sweet of her. So I'm going to open the card after, but these are just beautiful, and they've got these lovely little frosted twigs in here as well just to make it a nice little kind of like winter bunch so i'm going to put these in a vase and put them in my office before i leave so they're going to be nice and fresh my best friend amy also sent this bottle of champagne and had it engraved sorry it's not picking up there we go huge congratulations on your engagement i love amy tom and hector which is just such a nice thoughtful gift of her as well so Just put it with a jumper dress underneath from Zara and I've actually got my Chanel tights back out. I haven't worn these since last year but I'm always really skeptical to wear them because obviously they're really delicate. But I put them on this morning with my knee-high boots because it's a little bit chilly today but I am just in the car now on the way so I don't know if I actually mentioned in the vlog earlier what I'm actually doing today. I'm going to go and do a podcast which is very exciting because I am obsessed with listening to podcasts. I listen to them all the time when I'm not walking Bailey, like when I'm doing my makeup in the morning, even when I'm just like doing the washing up. I love listening to a good podcast. So if you have actually any other recommendations that you guys listen to, please leave it in the comments because I love finding new ones. But I'm actually going now to be a guest on a podcast, which is very exciting. It's going to be my first time, so I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. So it's actually going to be all about interiors. Well, with like a nod to interiors, it's with an interior brand. So I will be um, sharing more in the new year, which sounds so far away, but it's actually just next month. So it's a few weeks away, so I'll be sharing the actual episode when it goes live, so you guys can listen to it and see what we get up to, because we are filming it as well. Um, and I'll obviously take you along and show you a bit behind the scenes. Are you all right? I have all the clothes and stuff, and I know I'm in so I've just finished up on the podcast and look how pretty it is. The interiors are so nice in here. So it will be airing soon. So when it does, obviously I'll share it with you guys, but it was really nice just catching up with the girls and talking about home, talking about life. So yeah, the first podcast is too. So oh, I am back home now and it was actually a really successful podcast. So it was my first appearance on one and I really enjoyed doing it. It was fun just chatting. So when that is live, obviously I will let you guys know should be going live in Jan 
but I need to get myself re-together. I was actually meant to go to an event today with Jo Malone, which I'm really sad. It was going to be a nice festive one, wreath making, but I just ended up getting it back later than I thought, so I'm not going to be able to get over to Central in time. So I'm going to have to miss out on that one, which I'm sad about because everyone, I mean, we all love Jo Malone and a nice little festive day with them would have been lovely, but... I can't do it all and I feel like I haven't really been vlogging my events this week because I had two lovely evening events and I had one on the night after the Moroccan oil one as well but life has just been a little bit hectic behind the scenes like I've been saying I'm trying to organize the house I'm trying to organize furniture also trying to organize an engagement party all before Christmas so I feel like I'm trying to juggle a lot at the minute, hence why this vlog has been a little bit here then everywhere, so I can only apologise for that. I promise the next one will hopefully be a little bit more put together and maybe this one will be a bit shorter than usual, but hopefully you still enjoyed it guys. Um, I will actually sign off now because I won't vlog this weekend because I've got my girlfriends from home coming up and I'm going to just take some time with them and have a nice girly weekend and show them around London because I'm actually seeing one of my best friend's babies for the first time because I haven't managed to meet him yet. So just like a nice wholesome weekend. So I hope you all are having a lovely December so far. I'm very excited to take you along on this next month. I feel like it's probably going to be a very exciting one with what's to come. So make sure you do hit like if you enjoyed this vlog and make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos. I'm very excited for them. I'll see you guys in the next one and thanks for watching.